Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is gonna be a beginner ab workout, perfect for at home or in the gym, wherever you wanna do it. So before we actually get started, I just wanna go over a few basics in terms of form. So when doing these, you wanna have your ab engaged. And so this is a quick demonstration of what you don't wanna do. So you can see there's quite a bit of space underneath my lower back. And so what you wanna do is you actually wanna try and roll your hips forward, just kind of how I'm doing the video. It takes a little while to get used to engaging your core. So if you need to, just stop in between exercises and re-engage. Nice and easy, we're going to start off with some crunches. We're going to do 20 of these and then move on to the next exercise. Moving on to half dead bugs. These are really great for engaging your lower abdomen. And as you can see, I'm just straightening and retracting my legs with each movement. If you want to make these a little bit harder, you can. You can put your hands behind your head, but just watch out because it makes it harder to engage your core. Um, but we're going to do 20 of these on each leg and then move right on to the next exercise. Moving on swiftly to my absolute favorites. I don't even know what to call these, but it's basically like a half tuck into a half pike. And you can use your arm and your other foot for support. And we're going to do 20 of these on each side. For this exercise, one rep is one half tuck and one pike. I know these can be quite difficult, so feel free to take a break like I am and then get back on it. Okay, once you're ready, we're going to go into these half crunches. And what I do is I keep my hands behind my head and then I just cross over and touch my knee with my elbow. And we're going to do 20 of these on each leg. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go into what I call little swimmer crunches because you just put your hands over each other and crunch in between your legs. They're a lot harder than they look actually. Um, and yeah, make sure you keep your lower back flat to the ground. And we're going to do 20 of these and then move right on to the next one. Okay, don't hate me, but we are going to do some leg raises. So we're going to do 20 of these. And again, try and make sure your lower back is as flat to the floor as possible. As you can see, I'm only going down partially because anytime I go lower than that, my lower back lifts and I lose the core engagement. Okay, now we're going to move right on to our last and final exercise, side planks. I absolutely love these. They are such core burners. They really get the job done. If you want to make it a little bit harder, feel free to add this to the movement. If not, that's fine. Repeat this full circuit two more times for maximum benefit. But yeah, that is the end. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.